What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Eddie Hearn, Artur Baturviev, and Callum Smith. Get this. Hearn wants more information about atypical findings in Baturviev's Vada test. The fight with Smith will go on. Eddie Hearn didn't accuse Artur Baturbeev of using performance-enhancing drugs Thursday. Callum Smith's promoter made it perfectly clear, however, that his company, Matchroom Boxing, wants more information related to the Voluntary Anti-Doping Association test that reveals in mid-December that Baturbeev had, ele had elevated levels of HGH and testosterone in his blood and urine. Hearn discussed the, the results of Baturviev's December 6th tests, which were revealed in an article posted Wednesday on KevinKnoll.com with a group of reporters following the final press conference for the light heavyweight battle between Baturviev and Smith. Okay, And he's Hearn stressed that these were atypical findings, not adverse findings. Therefore, their 12-round fight for Baturviev's Unified Championships titles will proceed as planned Saturday night in Videotron Century in Quebec, Canada on ESPN. He said, not an adverse finding, but an atypical finding, Heard said, but still raised levels, which a promoter of a fighter in the other corner is concerned. So we've been working with Vada to try to understand the reasons why. It's all out there for your information to do your research. And I know they'll want us to be careful of what we say. Okay. And Smith's attorney and matchroom representatives have remained consistent communication with Vada since Smith's side was alerted almost a month ago about the raised levels of HGH and testosterone in Paterby of system. Hearn hasn't been satisfied with what they've learned thus far. He said, no, not really. I mean, there has been additional testing since, but not additional around those results. Just the standard testing that follows. So in this one test, there was a spike in these substances. And then in the test the week after, there wasn't. What we want to know is we're not scientists. We just want to know why were those levels raised? And the questions that we've asked Vada will continue to ask. Wow. Okay. If they don't receive adequate answers by Saturday night, England Smith, the mandatory challenger for the Russian born Montreal based Baturviev will battle Baturviev as scheduled. It's not going to affect the fight anyway, Hearn said, you know, because contractually we would only be in position or the fight would be canceled if that was an adverse. Okay. Um, let me counter punch because uh, this is a lot of a lot of information. You could look at this two ways. One. You could look at this as Eddie Hearn being the concerned promoter of anybody that has uh, a spike in his test. That does raise some red flags to a certain degree because it's hard to explain. Now, maybe, just maybe, the questions I would think of or the things I would I would resort to would be, what was he doing at that time to get one that spiked result? Was he doing more leg exercises? Was he eating oysters? You know, things like that. Leg exercises, especially doing squats, they produce more testosterone in your body at a certain time, especially when you do legs. Okay, because there's unlocked testosterone locked in your legs, which are the biggest muscles in your whole body. Maybe Baturiev was doing that. I'm not sure. And maybe because of the Connor Ben incident and the Dillian White incident um, and the Hellenius incident, maybe he's tightening down just to show that he's no longer lenient like he used to. That's one. Two, 
You could also look at it like, well, why are you giving Maturvy of shit? He has an atypical finding instead of an adverse finding, so you didn't find anything swimming around in his body that didn't supposed to be there. As compared to when you found that shit with Connor Ben last year, not just once, but twice, and people side eyed you because once you found out, you really didn't tell people right away. Okay? And there was a pattern from what you did in 2019, from 2023 where Dillian White had some type of contaminated uh, finding or whatever, sample, a sample, and you didn't say anything to the opposing side at all. You didn't say anything until that fight was over. Dillian White got dropped, but Dillian White won. Okay, so that's not a good look for you, okay? Now, if we... Go back a year before that in 2018, how he then ripped Canelo apart for having clenbuterol in his system. If you guys can remember that. So Eddie Hearn, you know, it seems to me this is not a good look. Why? Because Baturviev is not his fighter. It wasn't Smith that had this thing going. And it seems like the, the pattern has been developing between Eddie Hearn and his fighters versus other people's fighters. You don't have the same energy with your fighters than other fighters that have some type of interesting drug test finding. Jarrell Miller, Canelo Alvarez, okay, Dillian White, Connor Ben, now Artur Baturviev, all of those you had that wasn't you were not promoting, you had an issue with. But you swept shit of your fighters under the rug. Mm -hmm. And that's not a good thing at all. And see, he once promoted Canelo Alvarez, but you heard him not ever bring up the clenbuterol. But when he wasn't promoting him, oh yeah, that's all you could talk about. Oh, I don't think he should be in the sport of boxing, mate. I think it should be banned. I think it should, you know, this, that, and the other. Burn him at the stake. Whatever you needed to do. He didn't care. There was no filter. There was no mercy. Okay? So, I think this is another situation. And I think at the very least, if Baturviev knocks out Callum Smith, this will come back up. No doubt about it. Trust me. It will come back up because this is um, a moral decorated excuse at this point based on reaching or possibility of Baturvia taking something or having an interesting finding. That's going to come up. It is. When Callum Smith, and because I think Callum Smith, I haven't done the fight breakdown. I'm going to start today to look at these fights, you know, and compare their styles to see what I can gather and make a decision on who I think will win. But if Baturviev wins based on that spike, that spike is going to come up. That spike conversation will rise again. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Eddie Hearn taking shots, wanting more information regarding the spike and Artur Better Beeves results. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.